Greetings, my fellow machine constructs, and welcome back to the classic Star Wars Battlefront 2. Still in love with this game, and still having a blast. And as you can see, I decided for a LARF to turn up all the settings to maximum. So, hence why we're now firing, fighting 500 troops. Uh, this should be fun. Oh, sniped. Sniped. Uh, the thing I love about the sniper rifle is if you know where the hitbox is, which I do in first person but not third person, you can actually use it as a battle rifle rather than a traditional sniper rifle. Alright. Hmm, looks like I am in the correct position. Alright, tell you what, let's go for aggressive combat tactics. Oh, counter sniped. Alright. Alright, sometimes you gotta go for firepower. Missiles. <laughs> Alright, somebody just shoot these clones. It's not that complicated. Bollocks. Alright, I'll go to a battle super battle droid, but I actually really don't like them. I don't know, maybe it's because you don't actually have a gun, you're just using your fist. But it always seems like, you know, playing as a regular super battle droid is not as good as playing as a clone. Although the wrist rockets are nice for more direct aerial effect damage. Alright, come on troops. Come on expendable machine cogs. Who have no souls. Nice. Shit. Well, you know what we need for this? Kill everything. Same as should always be. Also, I don't mean to be rude, Mr. Maul. You have a really good, you know, charge attack and combo attacks, but you should have died in episode 1. I'm sorry, but your resurrections were stretching credibility in the Clone Wars and Rebels. Just a personal complaint of mine. Although in this game, you're bloody devastating. Because his double-ended lightsaber has a bigger hitbox. So literally you can like, cover twice the troops, or twice the killing range, then one, you know, then a single lightsaber. And his charge attack is devastating in tight groups. And even his regular combat swings are actually, you know, slow, but they can cover a bit of ground. See, right there, I just destroyed that turret as if it was nothing. Oh, oh, I ain't got him on the backswing. I love double-ended lightsabers. They look pretty awesome. Um, I think red or blue, I think double-ended works well. Yellow silly, and green's okay, but not ideal. Alright, charge this tank. Oh, it would be so awesome if I'd taken it down. Yes! Oh, oh so much visceral satisfaction. From playing a hideously overpowered, unbalanced hero. <laughs> Although I can actually be killed if the clones would actually bother targeting me with fire. Face my lightsabers. Oh. <laughs> His swings are just ridiculous. <laughs> this is what Darth Maul should be like, just killing everything. That's one of the things I love about the heroes. They, aside from some of the weaker ones like Han Solo and stuff, you really get the impression of a hideously overpowered badass Sith Lord or Jedi. Just because of how devastating you are. Uh, it seems like a 
army, well the droids, are playing like potatoes because they're actually going down. Like, it's not that much in it. Mm, I blame the fact that the droids are actually pretty dumb as machines go. They don't actually have artificial intelligence, they're just mindless machines. Alright. Mm, my time limit's running out. All right. Oh. oh, that's the type of charge attack we want to see. Come on, come on, just kill them all, stay alive. Stay out of the way of the chain gun. Come on. Oh. That is true. He wins that round. Alright. I wish the Magna Guards could have gotten their spears. That would have been so awesome. Like, I do love the Bulldog LRR. Um, well, it's actually not a bad weapon. And the grenade launcher is good too. But they could they had double-ended lightsabers in this game. They should have given us the Magna Guard their spears. That would have been awesome. Like, would have given them a... Um, the droids are dedicated like melee unit for their army. That would be brilliant. Oh, my own. Oh no, that's fine. But they could have given me like, given them their own dedicated um, like melee unit. That would have been awesome. Uh, so, I mean, this game is already bloody brilliant, and I don't know. There isn't too much that could be done to improve it. But I just makes me disappointed for the remake, you know, the modern Battlefront 2, because I do actually own the game. It was on sale for like 10 bucks, and I got it on PC. And it's a beautiful looking game. Like, the graphics and the aesthetic are amazing. But no one's playing it online. The instant action, like the, you know, arcade mode against AI, isn't as robust as this one. And in the end, it's just like... I'd rather play this one where all the features are there and I don't need to play online where there's no one playing it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, something satisfying about unloading like eight rockets into a um, trooper. Grenade launcher! That should give them a damage over a time effect. Alright. Long shot! Grenade go! Get the grenades! Oof. Cannot believe I dodged that, like, rocket. That was impressive. Alright, back to the plaza. Droidy car! Ugh. Screw playing that in first person. Alright. Oh, I'm walking into the hornet's nest. Drop shields, place shields. The idea for using this is to drop and raise your shields as you can. But I think in that scenario we're not going to be able to. I love that you've actually, they actually added the ball mode into this. There's so many cool little like extraneous details. Shields down, shields back up. Alright, shields down. Hide around the corner, wait for them to come back. Shields up, shoot! Who the hell shot me? My own trooper shot me in the back. Thanks, assholes. See, this is how you're supposed to play it. Use the long-range repeating blasters as firepower. Augmented. Don't take that. You took the back of the tank. I need that health. I need the health more than you two, assholes. You're worthless engineer droids. Yeah, I was one shot away from death. Alright, time to go back to the bulldog long-range rocket. 
I will play this one in first person. Well, no, because they have 50 and we have 170. So as long as we're not potatoes about this, we can do it. Go long. That bouncing down the stairs is what's buggering me up. Alright. Maybe it's time for a bit of shotgun action. Alright. Life hack. Deploy your own health and ammunition station to keep you alive. I cannot shoot through a cast iron gate. What's wrong with me? Shoot him in the head. Bollocks. Darth Maul, please finish this. Your orders are as they've always been. Kill everyone. Oh, the music's kicking in, lads. Climb up there. Oh, five guys left. Well, let's screw taking objectives. Let's just kill them. Four troops. Get that guy. Find these last clones. Kill them. Oh, turret. There we go. Yeah! Perfection. That's even a cool ending pose.